Okay guys, Boogie is asleep. So I am going to attempt to show you guys the kitchen. PJ, this video is basically for you because you want me to explain the kitchen and how it works. Lush Kitchen is basically a spot that we can go to and get items that are not on the regular line. So you can't just regularly walk into the store and buy the items that are in the kitchen. You pretty much have to really, really, really wait for them to come into the kitchen and then you can grab them. Once they're sold out, they're gone. What you would do, now considering that us in the U.S., we don't have a kitchen on the northern side, we will be getting a northern side kitchen. Uh, hopefully, before, you know, within the new year or, I don't know. Hopefully, there's been a lot of talk that there's going to be a northern lush. And just so you guys know, the previous video I did talk about the Twilight wax melts. Ew. The Twilight one did not burn well. It's, I mean, it burned, it melted great, but it, it just didn't smell well. It didn't smell like Twilight. I didn't like it. I poured it back in. It's gross. I do have the Rockstar in, the Rockstar one in right now. It's absolutely amazing. Okay, so let's continue on about Lush Kitchen. Uh, Lush Kitchen menu has a lot of retro items, a lot of items that are just uh, limited to time, things that are not all year round. I'm going to attempt to show you on the laptop here, and hopefully I can navigate through it correctly. When you type in the word Lush to any of your search engine, you're going to get this picture with this little, you know, whatever video they put up. Right now it is the Autumn, autumn Leaf Bath Bomb. It's going to ask you right here, View Countries. <laughs> So because here around the U.S., we don't have a, lord, a northern kitchen. All we have is the U.K. So you're going to view your country. You can use the Japan one, but I don't deal with it too much because you have to go through a third-party uh, shipping service unless you live in Japan. And they will ship to you. But for us and for, you know, I guess people in the U.K., whatever it is. Sorry. <clears throat> the seasons are changing. I'm starting to get that, that stuffiness in my head. Uh... We gotta go through the UK. I do not like using the White Rabbit uh, service, the shipping service, to deal with the Japan Kitchen because it's so difficult to do it. it you have to have the correct translation, the way Japan says it in English, and it, it's just a big old to do. So let's concentrate on the UK Lush Kitchen. You would click UK. This is what you'll see. You'll see up top here, products, shops, these are mainline products, the products uh, word right here. This is not what you're looking for if you want to go navigate through the kitchen. Shops, you basically put in your zip code or where you live, and they send you to the shops that are around you. Kitchen, that's your goal. Click kitchen. That's what's in the kitchen for the week. This week is one item. It's normally never like that, but it is a gift set, and inside the gift set there's like a week, week's worth of products. Over here you'll see... See the menu. Click see the menu. On your phone it's going to be a little bit different. It is for me. Than it is on the laptop. Now here is last week's menu. Uh, basically it's like the last seven days worth. This week is just our haunted house. Which if you click on it. Yes they're still available. They are £28.50. Which roughly is 30 almost 37 dollars u.s uh pj i don't believe you were in the u.s so i don't think me translating the money would would even help you okay here we are here are the items that are going to be inside our gift set that is in the kitchen these are all items that are not available mainline some of them are retro some of them have only been seen one time the kitchen will also add items that have never been created before like the uh the week of jellies which was twilight jelly rose jam jelly Honey, I washed the kids jelly. Uh, what was the other one? What was the other one? I have it. Comforter jelly. It puts up all kinds of items that either are retro items, which are very old and are off the market now. Uh, items that you, we have never used before, and they're testing them out with us to see if they'll be good sellers to maybe put on the main line. Things like that. Uh, like, we got uh, a sneak peek at the Christmas stuff early, where we could have bought a bunch of Christmas stuff early. And I only bought the ruby red slippers and the sleepy lotion because I knew they would be available in the Christmas line within the next two weeks. So here for this week's kitchen we have the one gift set. Inside the one gift set you'll see the Demon of the Dark soap, which is just 100 milligrams of soap. Or 100 grams, sorry. 100 grams of soap. You'll have the Nightwing Shower Jelly, which is 95 grams. 
you'll have the pumpkin bubble bar, which is similar to the mumpkin in look. It supposedly is a uh, completely different scent. I'm not really sure what the scent is, but I will click on it if you'd like. Um, we have ghost shower gel. Now, ghost shower gel is one of my favorite. It's 100 grams of it, and I was so kicking myself that I spent almost $40 on this gift set. The only thing I really, really want out of it is the Something Wicked This Way Comes Bath Melt and the Ghost Shower Gel. That's all I really, really, really want. I mean, of course, I'm happy to have the other three. It's always great. Demon in the Dark is like a mint apple type soap. It's very minty, but it's made with an apple juice, so you can smell that undertone of the apple in it. So, I, I don't know. That's why I like it. Um... But I've had it before. I do like it. I do like the shower gel. So I'm happy to have the soap. Nightwing I'm kind of eh about. Just because I don't want to have to chop his little butt up. He's cute. The pumpkin bubble bar, the pumpkin bubble bar that looks like the pumpkin. Oh, I think he's cool. I would love to have two of him. And then that way maybe I can uh, add him to my collection and demo him for you guys. But the ghost shower gel is what threw me off. I thought it was going to be the 250 grams. They may put the ghost shower gel and 250 grams out. Simply because everybody is, is attacking them that it's too small. They want a bigger one. So they may, may, may put out the 250 grams. It is the... If you've ever smelled the Lily Savant soap, it, that's what it smells like. It's very florally, very lily smelling. Um, I like it. A lot of people don't like it because it smells kind of like old grannyish to them. But I kind of like it. I don't know. I love the smell of lilies and it, it is a good smell. So I do like it. But I was hoping to get a bigger bottle of it. And then the last thing we have is the Something Wicked This Way Comes. Of course, it's named after the book. And it is a bath melt. Now, none of these items are readily available. They didn't even come out this Halloween. So we didn't get to see any of these for Halloween. Um, let's click on Pumpkin for a minute and see what he is supposed to smell like. Oh, look at that. They don't even have the scent in here. Let's go back one. All right. So that is what we got for the week. It's just this one gift set right here. And it's cute to have the, you know, the box gift set, because if you are a Lush collector, because, here, let me zoom in for you a little bit. Okay, if you're a Lush collector, you can see right on it, it says 29 and a half on it. And so it's kind of, you know, it's a 29 High Street store type deal, only in Haunted House. So I thought it was cute, and, you know, I'm glad to have the box, but I was a little upset that I spent almost 40 bucks on... Something that the only thing I really wanted was that ghost shower gel. And ghost is not easy to get your hands on. You can buy items on eBay, on Macari, on places like that. But the Lush Kitchen is available to all of us simply because they don't create these items all the time. You can go to products and you can buy regular mainline products right here. Or you can move over to the kitchen you can get things you won't see all the time. Now you don't see Joy of Jelly all the time and that smells like the Sex Bomb Bath Bomb. I love the smell of the Sex Bomb Bath Bomb. So, Joy of Jelly is definitely up my alley. The Little Monkey Bubble Bar, you won't see all the time. Lem Slip Buttercream, you won't see. See, Still Life Bath Bomb, you won't see. Let's go on, and I'll show you some of the other cool stuff here that's in the kitchen. And most of these things, yes, are available right now. You can actually go on and add them to your basket. They're available. Shockingly, they weren't available a little while ago. They're available now. I don't know. So look, it's available right here. This is the tote, tote bag. They were at the Lush Showcase. Uh, pretty cool item, you know, pretty good uh, memorabilia type deal if you want to, if you want one of those. They also have the Lush t-shirt here that's available, your, your all, your, your all, I can't say the word, that shower gel. It's very lemony. That's available right now. <clears throat> but you won't get them once they sell out. If they sell out of the kitchen and you didn't obtain it then, you have to wait for the kitchen to bring it back in. And they don't always bring them back. Sometimes you wait a good year to get a product again. If you get it, you'll be lucky enough to get it. Here is a bunch of the t-shirts. A lot of these are still available. You can still jump on and grab them. A lot of the sweatshirts are still available. Uh, let's see what is... Serving bath time, realness. Here you go. Here's a sold out product. You're not going to be able to get that in a size medium. Let's see if it's sold out in extra large too. Nope. You can get it right now. Mind you, they're selling this this sweatshirt on eBay for, one person has it for 150 another person has it for 100 another person has it for 75 uh, The people I deal with, uh, Toodles Treasure 7 on eBay, they have it for the cheapest price. They have it for $75 right now. So you can go on for £30, 
And you can get yourself that sweatshirt and not have to pay $75. But I think, you know, that's a cool idea. So, I mean, I really like the kitchen. I like the fact that we can get items that you don't see all the time. Items that sometimes maybe we can't get here in America because they are only on Oxford Street. We'll see them roll up in the kitchen and we'll be able to grab them. Um, here in America, we don't have the Karma Bath Melt. I don't know if you guys have it everywhere in the UK, but I do know that it is in Oxford Street. A lot of the items that are in, on the, in the Oxford Street store, we can't get our hands on. Um, this ginger shower gel smells just like the Boo bath melt that came out for Halloween that I'm absolutely in love with. So that is like an amazing find right there. If you find an item like the Boo, the Boo, uh, not shower gel, the Boo bath melt that came out for Halloween, it's going to be gone very shortly and we'll be lucky if they bring it again, back again last Halloween. But that smell, it shares its scent with something else. That something else is the ginger shower gel. Now this ginger shower gel rolled around in the kitchen. So, oh wow, I can grab it. So I can grab the ginger shower gel and still have the same smell as Boo. And then once it gets sold out of the kitchen, that's it. I can't get my hands on it again until the kitchen decides to remake it again. There's a limited amount of items in the kitchen. And a little, like, say there's... Say there's a hundred ginger shower gels. Once those hundred are purchased, they take it off. You can't get it. I hope I'm explaining it to you as, as best, you know, I, I, I really, I mean, it's hard to explain the kitchen sometimes, but I wish somebody would have done it for me back in the day, and I probably would have been shopping a lot more in the kitchen. Vanilla Delight body lotion is not always available, and it's a really nice scent for those of you who are in love with vanilla. So what you would do is you would jump on the kitchen when it when it's coming out, you know, and then you would jump on and purchase, jump off, and, you know, do whatever you want to do. But it's not a, an everyday item. If you've smelled it previously, or if you love vanilla, you're going to go for something that's vanilla scent. So you would, if you see it in the kitchen, you grab it. Now the way to purchase from the kitchen, let's try the Karma's. It's very simple. You see your Karma bath melts, you add the quantity of how many you want, add it to your basket. Oh, the Karma Bath Melts are sold out. Okay, so Karma Bath Melts, see right here? Sorry, this product is not available in your request quantity. This is the bad thing about the kitchen. Sometimes this site will tell you an item is available, and it's not. Not available. Let's go back to the kitchen again. And let me get you an item that is available right now. Um, I was shocked to see that some of the shirts are available, so what I did was I went back and checked it on my phone, and yes, yeah, some of the shirts are available right now. Well, let's go with the Haunted House. I know that's still available, I just checked that on the phone too. Okay, so you here you write in your quantity of how many you want. I only want one of these, so I'm going to go ahead and add it to my basket at some point tonight, because my computer is slow as snail shit. Hello. Oh, it's loading. Sorry. Okay, so what I would do is, now that I hit it three times, it's going to take forever to load. I would add it to my basket, and then I would go into checkout. I'm not going to checkout, obviously. You add in all your information, the whole nine, da 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 da, -da. Login. I mean, it's always good to make yourself a login to purchase. Don't purchase as a guest, because you want kind of a, a background of what you order. Now, if you hang on one second, I'll enter in my information, and I'll show you what I have previously ordered from the kitchen. All right, screw it. I can't get in. Uh, it keeps telling me that my login or my username is wrong, and then it tells me my password is wrong. It's just, it's really difficult to do it on my laptop. It's so much easier to do it on my phone, but obviously right now I'm filming using my phone. So I can't show you, like, previous orders that I've done. But back to the kitchen. All the kitchen is basically is a spot for us to go and to get retro items or items that are not readily available on the mainline products. So, you can't walk into your local Lush store and grab these items. They're only going to be available right here. Uh, some of the shirts are from the showcase that just happened. Some of the items, like the shower gels, things like that, only come around once in a while. So, it, it's just a shot for us to grab stuff that we can't normally always get, or to try items that were there available to us in the past. You know, like the little monkey... At one point, either these items were on the shelves and we were able to walk into the store and get them, or they're items that they've tested to see if they should be shelf items, or they're new items that they're just creating, like the Twilight Shower Jelly and the Comforter Shower Jellies and all those new shower jellies that had come out for a little while. 
They were only available in the kitchen. They were never before made products. Now you can go into regular products, and here you have all of your your list of different types of products here that you can go with. Uh, basically, let's just try any bath products. Okay, bath type products. Let's go in. They have featured. Now the feature bath products, like these these ones, you can get in your local Lush. The Experimenter you can now get. It used to just be an Oxford exclusive. You can now get them in every Lush. Uh, Big Blue you can get all over the place. Floating Island. They've changed float Floating Island. It used to be a really, like, big chunk thing. It looked kind of like... Um, it looked kind of like they made it in, like, a cup like this. This is the Bomb Diggy uh, Whipped Body Butter, which I'm addicted to. I love this stuff. This is the Slow Jams one. It's absolutely amazing. So, and I, oh my god, I have it all over me now, and you can't even, like, really tell that it's on my skin. It seeps in one, two, three. I'm so in love with it. Uh, so pretty much, it's in a, it used to come in, like, a, like, as if they had made it in, like, a container like this, and it had, like, on the top, it was, like, thick and, like, looked, like, bubbly, and you would put it in the water, and it would break apart. Kind of like a bath bomb, and it was really cool looking. Now it's just this little waxy dot. So, I don't like it. <laughs> I like the way it used to be. That and the Melting Marshmallow were both beautiful, made the same way. The Floating Island Melting Marshmallow. They look like they were made in like a cup, and they were so cool looking. See, we can always get the Dragon's Egg. That's always available. Things like that. And here's the Melts. Uh, the Cauldron one is my absolute most favorite. I mean, that's like real, real moisture right there. Green Bubble Rune is being taken off the market. It is one of my favorite. I have a few of them in the showcase inside that I have. See? It's gone. It's sold out. So once they're gone here in the UK, they're gone for good. We eventually will see Green Bubble Room roll around in the kitchen. So that kind of like teaches you a little bit on what the kitchen is there for. If the item has been taken off the market like Green Bubble Room, because pretty much it really wasn't a big seller. So in order for them to keep their stock rolling in, they take it away, but then the rest of us who are in love with it that ask for it over and over and over again, we have an opportunity to go into the kitchen whenever they put out the kitchen menu, which is every Friday. You can jump on Instagram, or you can watch my my channel, and I put it up for you guys on Friday. You can jump on Instagram and look at the Lush Kitchen, and they'll put up the menu there. I put up the menu. All Things Lush puts up the menu. Um... Lush a lot puts up the menu. We all do it just so so you guys know what's going to be there. There's different ways to find the Lush kitchen menu. But now you see how it's sold out. It's because they took it off the market. The same as Honey Bee, um, porridge soap. So eventually, from us begging them to bring it back, they will put it in the kitchen again. Probably like next year around this time, they'll put it in the kitchen or something like that. So we'll be able to see it again. That's the joys of the kitchen. That's why I like the kitchen. Okay, but <clears throat> other than that, we have all of these guys, which are just in the regular stores. Now, here in America, we can't get all the bubble bars that you guys can get in the UK. Here's all the Christmas ones, too. Now, Snowy, I can tell you right now, I don't think Snowy's coming back next year. Snowy is their homage to David Bowie. It's the bubble bar they put out to kind of, you know, to honor David Bowie because he passed away this year. Um... Like Jen from uh, All Things Lush says, you can't die twice, really. <laughs> so, he died this year. We They put out Snowy as a bubble bar to uh, honor him. That is from his uh, Ziggy Stardust days. Is the lightning bolt there. The makeup that he used to smear across his face. I love David Bowie. Absolutely amazing. So, they put this out. I don't think we're going to see it again. But, we could see this again in years to come in the kitchen. Now, all of these items, they're all Christmassy type things. Um, oh, the Jester is a new bubble bar, uh, along with Santasaurus and a couple other new items. It is a reusable bubble bar that smells like the bright side. So, I want a Jester bad. Ruby Red Slippers. Okay, the original Ruby Red Slippers was a very small, round, circular uh, bubble bar. And it didn't look like this at all. It didn't it wasn't the shape or slipper or nothing like that. It's not really a Christmassy thing. It's more of like a, um, uh, whatever it is, Wizard of Oz. It's not a Christmassy thing. But that came out in 2010, and it was just a round circle. Then they decided to remake it and turn it into the slipper, and the first place that we saw it again 
was in the kitchen. Then they released it with the Christmas line. So the first place we saw it again was upcoming in the kitchen, which two week, was like two weeks ago. And we were able to all grab it. We were able to grab some Christmas items. We were able to grab a Santasaurus, which is the Honey I Watched the Kids scent, the Ruby Red Slippers, a couple of other Christmas items were available. And that was all thanks to the kitchen. Okay, in the U.S., we don't have the floating tea on the website, and we don't have something else you guys have. I don't remember what it is, but we have everything else, basically, from the website, from the U.K. website to our website. is almost the same, except for a few... Well, they never... For some reason, my computer will not open up the picture of the comforter, and it's a beautiful bubble bar, but I, I have, like, three of them inside. And I do have all my collection videos up so far, but the collection is growing. This is Poppin' the Bath Scented, which is the Penguin. Then you have the um, Candy Mountain, which I actually like the Candy Mountain, and I don't like the Smell of Snow Fairy. It's Snow Fairy Scented, kind of. You have the Magic Wand, which is Snow Fairy Scented again. The Sparkling Pumpkin, which I fell in love with. If you can get your hands on a Sparkling Pumpkin, try it. It's definitely a good try. See? And here they are now breaking up the Sparkling Pumpkin in the video. Which they don't really show you much of the video. There are certain colors that they had fixed. They fixed their orange and their yellow and made them more like vibrant and stand out more. So I thought that was pretty cool. And all the upcoming uh, line items for Christmas are vegan products now. They are switching everything over and redoing everything as vegan. Just so that way the vegan people population can use them. So everything for the Christmas line is vegan. I'm not sure about the Halloween line, but I do know everything for the Christmas line is. I love the Halloween line. I think I kind of liked it more than the Christmas line. But there are a bunch of Christmas items that I want and a few that I have already purchased. So you're just going to have to stay tuned and look for further videos. Miss PJ, if I have explained the kitchen well enough to you, good luck to you in the kitchen. You do, once you hear that it's coming up and the Lush Kitchen gives you the days it's coming... And also, when it's coming, you have to be on it, if it's something you really want, because it will not be there later. It's Once it's gone, it's sold out. So if that helps you guys, and Miss PJ, if that helps you, uh, let me know. If you have any further questions, because this is a very, very long video, and I'm trying to wrap it up for you guys. If there's any further questions that you have on the kitchen, or anything else you want to know, all of my social media is listed down below, as well as an address. If anybody wants to send any regular snail mail, don't worry, it's not my personal address. Uh, you can hop on. I encourage you guys to request me on Facebook, re you know, follow me on Instagram, and message me on them and talk to me. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments down below and I'll get to them, which I do. I do check my comments on, on a daily basis. And also, uh, you can personally message me. Knock yourself out and ask me as many questions as you want. If I can't answer them, I will. Um, or if I can't, I will try and hunt down the answer for you. I'll do everything I can to try and help you out. Lush is a great company. It is very, very, very amazing. I love Lush. I also love a bunch of my indie companies, which uh, they're all cruelty-free, all, you know, natural products. So any company <clears throat> that I deal with is uh, basically around the same, same line as a Lush product. It's cruelty-free, animal-free. Um, basically, I went around and found products that were right up there with Lush. And that's what you guys see listed. But underneath the great wall of links, which if you hit the drop box and you scroll all the way down to the bottom, you'll see all of my contact info. And I do encourage you guys to request me on Facebook. Go right ahead and message me. And, uh, you know, follow me on Instagram. Message me there. You know, do whatever you got to do. Ask as many questions as you have. As you have. And nothing is a dumb question. Just go for it. Because I have said many dumb things and done many dumb things here on this channel. And you guys have all had a good laugh about it. So there's no judgment. <laughs> there's no stupid questions. Knock yourselves out. Ask away. If I haven't cleared up the kitchen enough for you or showed you what it was or anything like that. Or if anybody else can add to what the kitchen is. Please, 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 please put it in the comments. If you have any more further questions about the kitchen. If you want me to explain anything a little further. Or if something was confusing because I do have a hard time explaining things. Just leave it in the comments that you, you want further help with something, or you can personally message me on any one of the social medias or anything like that. And they in they are in the Dropbox. Go down to the very, very bottom. All of my information is right there. All right, guys. I love you all, and uh, stay tuned for the next video. I'm not sure what we're going to do. I might go uh, do a bath bomb real fast. I know it's the middle of the night. It's almost 5 a.m. here in the U.S. Actually, it's 4 o'clock. 
down there in the corner. I can see it. It's 351. We got eight minutes to four. So if almost 4 a.m. I'm probably going to go do a bath bomb and jump in the tub. So uh, I love yous, and I'll be back in a little bit. And please, again, do not hesitate to jump on my social medias to ask me questions. Leave questions in the comments. If you can add more to anything or correct me on anything, please do. You know, I really just want everybody to be very informative about everything and spend your money wisely and have a good time with your bath products. Love you guys. Talk to you soon.